Those who come to Plum Island come to enjoy the Massachusetts sea air and its 11 miles to shoreline, but there is also a risk to living on this barrier island. Beachfront homes are on the front lines to Mother Nature. This can lead to massive erosion and damage. Thomas Nee knows. He's lived here on Plum Island for 31 years. I was here for Hurricane Gloria when I was building this. It was coming up, you know, but the winds died. It was 80 miles an hour, but the tide was going out. That's a big deal. And then I was here for the no-name storm, and the tide came in and blew out my deck. And the pictures tell the story. When winter storms like Nemo hit Plum Island, it causes the water to rise and the land to shift, pulling the sand off its foundation. This is where the beach used to be, up at that ledge. The December 28th storm took out a lot of sand. Then they brought in these big berms to protect the property. Then the storm on Friday and Saturday took out even more sand. Now residents are hoping the Atlantic brings back at least some of it in the days to come. What kind of damage are you looking at here? What oh, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, it sucked the flow out. What happened, it went underneath the house, the pilings are there, and what it did is it came up and slapped up and just pushed the floor up and it fell down. But despite the environmental risk, the allure of the ocean keeps bringing them back, building back one stilt at a time. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel.